Good morning. This is Monday, August 14th, and I just want to start by saying that we had a wonderful baptism service at uh, Dunn's Camp yesterday. It was a wonderful time. We had 17 or 18 candidates total, and uh, all the families come out, and the entire church, just about the entire church, showed up. If you missed it, you missed a wonderful time. Lots of food and great spirit was there, so I want to thank everybody that came out and, and pitched in to help set that up. And again, we're praying for the candidates, and thank you for your prayers throughout the week. Today's devotion is the discipline of the Lord. This is Hebrews 12. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor be discouraged when you are rebuked by him. It's very easy to grieve the Spirit of God. We do it by despising the discipline of the Lord or by becoming discouraged when he rebukes us. If our experience of being set apart from sin and being made holy through the process of sanctification is still very shallow, we tend to mistake the reality of God for something else. What he means by that is that when God grows us and stretches us and, and brings us into a moment of maturity, if we think he's against us, then we mistake it for what's happening. And when the Spirit of God gives us a sense or, of warning or restraint, we're apt to mistakenly say, oh, that must be from the devil. Do not quench the Spirit, that's 1 Thessalonians 5, and do not despise him when he says to you, in effect, don't be blind on this point. You are not as far along spiritually as you thought you were. Use this chance to grow. Until now, I've not been able to reveal this to you, but I'm revealing it to you now. When the Lord disciplines you like that, let him have his way. Allow him to put you into a right standing relationship before God. That's what righteousness means. When it says that we are to be his righteousness, it means that God's righteousness puts us in a right standing before God. Don't be discouraged when you are rebuked by God. We may begin to pout and become irritated with God when he rebukes us. And then say, oh well, I can't help it. I prayed and things didn't turn out the way I wanted them to, so I'm simply going to give up on everything. Just think what would happen if we acted like this in any other area of our lives, our jobs, raising kids. If we acted like that in those areas, why do we do it with God? Am I fully prepared to allow God to grip me by his power and do a work in me that is truly worthy of himself? Sanctification is not my idea of what I want God to do for me. Sanctification is God's idea of what he wants to do for me. But he has to get me into a state in mind and spirit where I will allow him to sanctify me completely, whatever the cost. That's 1 Thessalonians 5. The challenge I have for us today is, are we free enough in our walk with Jesus Christ? Are we free enough to receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit as he would lead us into entire sanctification? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this uh, devotion from Oswald. We pray today, Father, that we would not kick against the goads when you try to bring us to a point of, of maturity and, and bring us into a moment of entire sanctification. But let us honestly look at our walk today with you and see where we stand. Once again, Lord, thank you for yesterday's baptism service. It was tremendous. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.